Okay, we're recording. Uh, pledge of allegiance for everybody? Sure. I pledge allegiance, I to, allegiance. The flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. America. The United States of America. One, 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 one nation under God, indivisible, under God. Under God. Under God. Under God. Under justice for all. All right, do we have a report from the Secretary? I have no report at this time. All right, I like that. Um, <laughs> Mr. Production Manager, will you give us a report? I know you sent that out, so hopefully all of us have glanced at it, but if you want to yeah, okay, highlight real anything. Quickly, real quickly, I'll go through it. Um, I, uh, my first item on my manager's report was in regards to uh, the new equipment being installed. The head end has been beautifully and professionally installed. It looks fantastic. It works fantastic. Oh, that's great. Um, we've set up the TriCaster Mini over at uh, the Board of Ed. We've got four PZT cameras uh, working there now, which uh, allows us a lot more uh, capability for for even for a one man operation. Um, we did have a, we we are going back there on uh, Tuesday to work out a few kinks, maybe try to tune up the cameras so we get a little better Correct. picture. One Correct. of the and these are robots. These are Robo cams. Are these robo no, or, uh, no, they don't, they don't move. They, they're they're hand tilt and zoom ro- remote. Right, right. They're not right. motorized dollies or anything. Yeah, that's um, right. The we did have an issue uh, establishing connectivity to the town hall, and, we're, and I think we, it was really probably just a simple setting. But we're going to work on that on Tuesday. Um, okay. Although these cameras are all now HD and the really good stuff, gentlemen, wow. I want everybody to remember that we are only broadcast in SD. Right. So, you know, no matter what we brought put into the system, it's still going to come out HD. So, you know, but it, we have to keep up with the equipment because, you know, we keep facing obsolescence that way. So everything is right. kind of a high right. and we not. But we'll work right. with it, and uh, I think we can get a decent image. I'm fairly confident. Um, okay. the, other thing, the other thing is, is uh, uh, my second item on the report was about state compliance. Uh, the, the day that I wrote this, two days later, I received the letter. I did send that out to everybody from Pura. They're extending that. the compliance deadline to August 2021. So that should tell you how much backlog and upside down this is out there with more than half of the other pegs in the state getting right. their their ends together that got peg pisha grants. But we're cool on that and I am working on getting all our final invoices back from uh uh the only outstanding vendor is H B. They, they were our okay. primary vendor. Okay. And I hope they in a few days. The large screen TV that got broke through some mysterious manner, whether it was on the truck or unfortunately through the installation process. Yeah, yeah. Um, we we contacted B and H. They didn't. We finally heard back from them. They're shipping a new one. Actually, oh, a driver showed up today to drop off a television set that he did not have in his truck. I don't even know why he showed uh-huh. up. I are you saying it fell his, off the back of the truck? Yeah. No, because yeah, because his pay, his paperwork showed to deliver, and it's yeah. in somebody's living room. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> but in Whatever any case, it it's supposed to come tomorrow. Ha ha ha! Well, we'll see. Yeah, so you may not see it until Friday, but at least, at least they're replacing it, so that's good. Yeah, no, I think we'll see it by Friday, though. Oh, that's great. The reason for that is I still don't know whether the the vendor's insurance or the freight insurance is going to pay for it or the town's going to pay for it, but we're not paying for it. Right. Okay. Well, well I would think exactly. insurance can cover that up. Pardon? I would think insurance covers that. Well, I would think, but we haven't had any definitive response from B&H about it. So. Oh. All right. We're just going to send in another one, and we'll take it, and we'll see what the invoice looks like. Okay. So happy right. holidays and happy new year, everybody. To everybody, yes. Indeed. To everybody. Everybody. All right. Um, that moves us up to item four, approval of past yes. minutes. Has, I have, have one people looked at the minutes? What? Oh, we got one more thing from Jerry. Okay. Uh, you know, we have all this equipment now that we have replaced. All of it still kind of pretty much works. Um, we have a couple of encoders, uh, 
They're SD. Uh, we have six cameras. They're 720 by 480. Um, we have some other tripods that we replaced. I mean, I don't know. I mean, ordinarily, we aren't really, we can't sell it. Uh, I, I, I'm just wondering if there's somewhere we can give can it to. Me? Well, I mean, I don't really, we have three TriCaster 40s, which are pretty reliable and do the job yeah. for us. I'm actually running a lot of our meetings from Town Hall on a 40. So it does interface with our new system. So I don't really want to give them up. We have three of them. But I'm yeah. wondering if there's some program like in a middle school or uh, something like that where we can offer them a little mini studio. Yeah, opportunity. Jerry, will we get in trouble for uh, giving away town equipment? Because remember we had that issue last time? No, no, I'm not giving away. I mean, I'm, and I'm only talking within town, you know, one of our schools. Now, that All was right. only because they deemed it so, by the way. Not necessarily because it really was. I don't know why well, that was an issue. But. And you're also not throwing it away. You're lending it to them. It's still the right. town equipment. So, I, mean, I just remember that they, they had kittens the last time we tried this. Uh, no, well, that's because I think we phrased it differently, and they, they thought we were trying to get rid of this stuff. I'm not, the, trying, I'm not disagreeing with you, but I don't, and I don't really, I never really understood the, the town attorney's, uh, at that time's opinion about loaning it to the museum. I really, you know, I mean. We never, it, none of us did. None of us, because we all thought that it was a good thing. If you remember, so, and the the town of yeah, the it town was still in the family, as far as we were concerned. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, and they and that kind of got the museum a little pissed off at us. I think they were looking forward to it. Sure. So, well, I don't know. I mean, it, 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 it's uh, last time was what a, a few years ago when you were trying to do this. Yeah. So I mean, it's a new administration. Maybe they'll have a different outlook on it. Well, that's what I'm thinking. But I'm wondering, too, if this has to be something that the commission has to approach as opposed to me. Um, I have yeah, no issue be. with that. I mean, if, uh, you know, if, if somebody wants to do that or if, if they want me to do it, whatever. I would. Well, uh, if, if somebody's willing to do it, I'm certainly I'm willing to talk to you about it and what we have available to, you know, loan. Yeah, um, I would think that would, and, that would have to come from me. You kind of need to you know, reach out and see if there is an entity. Because, I mean, you know, um, although this is, to us, it's a pretty cool thing to give somebody a television studio. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> um, it, is, it isn't the most up-to-date equipment, and I don't know if people will go, well, gee, it's kind of like, you know, not really the coolest. I don't know. Well, I, I don't know if, I could see that happening at, at Sacred Heart, but I don't know if that's necessarily going to happen. In middle school, I, don't, I think. Happen in a middle school, to be quite honest, uh, but you know. yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, some of the, I'm su- constantly surprised by how savvy some people are. So I, well, I don't know. You know. Considering they don't really have the tools, they may not have the tools to begin with, and right. giving them some tools to get started. Granted, they may say we really like this. We want the neat stuff. Fine, get it. Yeah. You know, but yeah. we get to start it. You know, so I don't know. I, I, I think it's great. I, I think it's great. Uh, this is Alex and, and Stu. If if you um, if you're the man to do that or whatever, I'm all for it. Whatever works. Well, I, I'm just wondering if they're. Well, first of all, they don't think I exist, and secondly, I'm wondering <laughs> if the chairman's got to go in for something like that to discuss that we want we feel comfortable lending equipment to some of the schools to, to work with this stuff. And as long as the understanding is that we need it back, we take it back. It's not that we're, we're giving this equipment away because the, the problem that you run into, if you give stuff away, what happens is, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, I just know this from, from when I work at the network, is when, equi- when the network or the town buys a piece of equipment, they put an amortization schedule in place. So if they say that it's, it's, it's worth zero after five years, and then you try and do something with it in six years, the IRS comes in and says, now we've got to reevaluate the entire piece of equipment and start all over yeah. again, and there might be taxes involved. Well. I mean, it could well, be I'm that. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm saying that, I mean, I can throw it away. It's not hard to do. But well, I, that's, I just, that's another, yeah, way, that's another way of doing it, is 
another way of doing it is you say this is now in the trash and then they're free to pick through the garbage after that because it's trash and then they come yeah, up with a system that's it, it's a, a way that you're getting around it but it's a legitimate way of getting around it but i'll i'll talk to uh who, whomever i got to talk to at town hall and start feeling them out on this because i i like the got idea it. i think it'll give us a lot of credibility if we have gear that we can lend to schools especially you know i think they have a lab somewhere in one of the one of the high schools or something I remember. Yeah, I don't know if it's or somebody has it. And they have pretty good yeah. equipment in yeah. Um I'm not yeah. so sure about the middle schools or even the elementary schools. Now, granted, you might think, okay, what's a third grader going to But, you know, this is the kind of equipment you give to a third grader because it doesn't matter. <laughs> right, right. right. <laughs> Plus, they, they, they might even come up with a little bit of content for us here and there. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, well, that's what I'm thinking. They're actually pretty good. My kids are making stop actions now. He's 11. Sure. It's up to the school if they have a person who's willing to get involved with it and that sort of thing. That um, would be you know, an important part of it. One of the reasons we don't get high school kids is because I think that the teachers think it's some sort of obligation that they have to sponsor or be involved with, you know, after hours or whatever. Right, right. I don't know for sure, but... If it's a bust, fine. We'll just recycle it over at the dump, and that'll be that. Right. Yeah, you know, you know that's that's the that's that's try can do that. You know, that, that brings up another a question that I have, just regarding like you know, if the students came up with some content or something that was you know fair TV worthy. Um, um, when like a number of months ago, there was when I first got on the commission, there was talk about the the new ordinance and I, and then it just sort of when COVID happened and everything, it's, I haven't heard much about it. Is there any, the, well, the new that? Ordinance is that just been, sort of stopped? The, the new ordinance has been shelved because okay. we started getting, um, how do I put this? We got some weird feedback and we just decided we were going to shelve it. Um, because there was, there was, um, problems with the language. We were not following the exact language of the ordinance. And we're trying to get this whole thing passed, and we we just decided to shelve it, and then we'll we'll go back to it in a couple of months. Because also, the person who was involved with that just got just got crazy. So we just said we're going to shelve this thing, and then we'll have to go back to it because we want it changed. We want to be able to do what we want to do, and the ordinance right now hamstrings us in what we want to do. Yeah, so thank much. you for thank you. And and the problem the problem with that is when it was. When it was uh, written, it was written in such a way that it was very, very confining and restraining, and we're trying to get that changed so that we, we have the freedom to do what we want. And I think that, that it was done that way because the person who created the language was very paranoid about a lot of things and was afraid that, that I don't know, maybe an alien was going to come in and, and knock Jerry over the head and take over the studio and broadcast crazy stuff. I don't know, but... but it, if you read the language, it's very confining, and that's why we're trying to get a change. But that 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 problem reared its ugly head when we when we did um, what was the thing that you did, Alex? That uh, with the that guy that yeah the, yeah the, I, uh, it was the, that's, it was that's what started this whole thing. Business. Yeah, By By we, didn't even know, we didn't even know what, was, what was going on. And I got blindsided, and we all got blindsided, and then it got very political, very ugly, which is why the commission, people left the commission because they said, I, I don't want this done. That's, if you remember why I warned you, Alex, about protecting your children, if you remember. Yeah. So we just decided to shelve it and let it die down, and we'll come back to it. Fair enough. That's fine by me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, you no, probably just, need to figure out how to raise money, I'll tell you that. Yes, uh, well, that, that, that was all part of it. That, that the, the, the entity that got involved didn't want to do that, so we got it. And we got it, we just shelved it and said, we'll, we'll come back for in a couple of months. Mm. Sounds great. Thank you, Stu. Time all right, John, rotate through to the uh, 4A. Four. October uh, minutes. Has everybody had a chance to look at the, uh, the meeting, or the minutes of the meeting? Now, mm -hmm. just a reminder, we did not have a November meeting, so there are no November that is correct. Minute minutes. Uh, that these is are correct. the October minutes that need to be done. I move to have them approved. I will second that. All, All those in favor? favor? Aye. Aye.
Aye. Any of those opposed? Hearing none, right. pass 4-0. Okay. Moving on to mm-hmm. unfinished business, item 5. Yeah, you had wanted to talk about, uh, what do you want? Or was that under new business? Well, we have, it's not going to be, it'll be under new business, yeah. Okay. okay. Any unfinished but, business? I don't think we have any. I don't think we have any. No, I don't think so. All right, yeah. item 6A, not a new, new business? Well, not, not item 6A, item 6. Any new business? Yes, uh, we need to discuss the dates for the Fair TV meetings for 2021. They need a list of that. Ah, good. So once so, again, once again, I and this happened to me where I said two years ago with the town clerk, I said it is the third Wednesday of every month, and she said correct. that. Correct. And I, I made a list of those dates. Ah. There you know, know, I move. I move. I'm we sorry, go guys. with those dates. Okay. So, so we go with the dates next... presented by the mighty Quinn. Okay, so the following dates in 2021 will be for Fair TV Commission hearing, or excuse me, meetings. January 20, February 17, March 17, April 21, May 19, June 16, July 21st, August 18th, September 15th, October 20th, November 17th, and December 15th. All of these dates represent the third Wednesday of the month in 2021. I'm going right, to be moved as approved meetings. Well, I just want to put in a little caveat that if necessary, uh, we may need to change them by a date, but we should be able to leave that open. But we'll, let's go with the third. Right. We the have to have those Wednesday dates. We can always do emergency meetings, but we have yep. to, to at least set down those dates. Okay. Did so you do that on March 17th? March 17th, St. Patrick's Day, does that – present a conflict for anyone other than me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a queen. It's, my, uh, bir- it's my birthday. And I already know. It's my birthday. I'm too old to be celebrating Listen, that if, day. If, 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 uh, if we can't figure out how to dial the phone on that particular day, is that... <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I'm generally taken out to dinner. You know, it's, it's like... Well, let me ask you this. Can we have the meetings? Since we think it might be that we're having in-person meetings, can we come along to your dinner? Yeah. yeah. Take it forward. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. The more the merrier. Meeting Just, on the floor. Right. take we're a good then. All right. We're good then. Okay. All right. So, mm-hmm. all those in favor of the dates is promulgated? Aye. Uh, I will second it. Aye. Right. And any opposed? Yeah. Nope. None. All right. So, uh, Jim. I, you know what? Uh, sorry, everyone. I, I do have one, one question. Um, what? Maybe someone can help me um, with – it, do we need to do this by conference call, or could it be by Zoom call, for example? I would just love to, like, look at everyone and wave and say hello. Is that yeah, I wouldn't mind doing, like, well, a Zoom or a Microsoft, or, yeah, Microsoft Teams meeting, that kind of thing. I'd be down with that. Well, I the agree. only yeah, thing is, I, I will, I will, I'll call Jennifer and find out what we can do, because the, the, the problem is they make, make us record the meeting. Um, I hit record because that's that's the general rules as set forth by the governor or something like that. So I don't Correct. know if, if a Zoom call can be done the same way, where it could be recorded. Well, we could do a Zoom and just have the call, have the call while we're zooming, Zoom while they we're calling. Oh, I don't know. Okay, four, that one. They basically have four WebEx uh, meeting uh, structures that they pay for that do video and audio. Now, if you want to do a video or audio meeting through the town. You've got to use either WebEx, either one, two, three, or four. All right, I, I will ask Jennifer. And those are usually taken by the primary boards and commissions. But not if not if, if we're on a day where there's no other meetings, then they yeah, should be open, be, right? Yep, you're right. We should be able to do it. All right, I'll ask her if we can do that. Then uh, that would be great. That way we can all do face. Good idea. I like that idea. Just um, just don't do what uh, the guy from CNN did. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Mr. Oh, Jones, what, happened? Yeah. what happened? I'm still New York Uber. Uber. Uh, Uber. I'm still yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't don't mention that on this call because we're being recorded. But I still don't. I still can't figure out how what he did. But anyway, uh, <laughs> any other new business? <laughs> All right. Slide request. Yes. Yeah, well, the next item of business is the election of new officers. Oh right. So we got that to look forward to. Yeah, okay. When do we need to do that? No. I think we need to do it today. Yeah, now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Who wants to do what? 
What, wait, what are what are the offices? Somebody. Uh, there's a chairman, a vice chairman, a secretary, and I, I think that's and it. They that, talked about a treasurer, yeah. but I think uh, we're too small for that, to tell you the truth. Yeah. Yeah, those are the three positions that are currently in play. Right. And we well, do have I'm, a chairman, I'm, and we have a chairman and a secretary. We need a vice chairman. Or if you want to change, have new players completely, that's fine with me. Uh, I just, I, 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 I'm, I, not, I'm, oh, go ahead. Sorry. I'm sorry. I just want to start by saying it, it has been my honor to have been on this commission since 2015. My term ends this coming July, and I intend on ending with it, just so you guys really? know. Really? Yeah. Really? I've been doing it for five years, and, and – It'll be almost six by the time I leave, so I think it's it, uh, time wow. for some new blood there. No, 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 no. Well, if you're not going to do it, then I'm not going to do it. What do you think about that? I don't oh, want to influence others, but <laughs> if I do get up, like my family conference call. Just got <laughs> off if, you, if you get up, we all get up, and then that's it, you know? <laughs> wow. Yeah, I've been doing this since 2015, and I think it's time for a bit of a change. It really, 2015? I don't even remember that far back. Yeah, and what it's been, it's been a long you've time. Been my, you, Mighty Quinn, you've been my wingman. Which I appreciate. That I've had nothing but good times, you guys. You know, even the bad times are good times. Um, yeah, and you it, remember it, you said it, you said you said that I could be chairman as long as you stayed secretary. So if you're going to leave as secretary, then I got I can't be chairman anymore. I can't do this by myself. Well, I'm, I'm happy to be secretary until July, um, but then I, right. I'd like to move on to, to greener pastures. Wow. Are you going to do like some of the other ones where they're going, you're going to go into another town co- uh, committee or something? Or are you just I haven't all even you? begun to think. Right now, I, I, I just want to you know, take stock and see where I want to go next. And, wow. And maybe nowhere. Yeah, maybe nowhere. Wow. You know? Wow. But uh, it, it's, it has been... A true honor to be with you guys. Uh, I've been through several incantations of this particular commission, and, and this is the finest yet. Huh. Well, we're, we're trying to get stuff done. Well, I'm glad That's I caught your tail end. Well, we still got some time with you, so let's uh, let's let's you know enjoy it. <laughs> Indeed. Um, Indeed, you got most of the. <laughs> <laughs> you need to nominate somebody Listen, for Do we need to? Uh, I, uh, as far as I'm concerned, and and uh, I realize that all of the um, positions are in play. I feel like I'm still learning, and I think that uh, Stu, as far as I'm concerned, you've been a great chairman uh, for the uh, the short time that I've I've gotten to know you and be a part of the commission. Uh, and uh, Jim, as far as uh, secretary, keeping keeping all of the agenda intact and. All of everything that goes along with that has been, you know, on point and perfect. Is again in my limited time, but um, I, I don't have any, you know, issue with continuing on in this way, shape for now. And um, but again, I would second that. How's that? I mean, there you go. All right. I mean, to the extent that I can, <clears throat> to the extent that, that, and this is Patrick, that I can do anything to help fill in, let me know. But I'm brand new and I don't have a clue about any of this. So if you want to teach me what I need to do. Let me know how I can help, and I'm I'm all about that. That's we appreciate yeah. that, and I, I'm I would hope if we got back to in-person meetings, I think we'll get a lot more because uh, we would just sit and talk. Um, yeah, what I absolutely. like is we get stuff done quickly. I mean, when I first got on the on the committee, meetings were going for two and three hours, and it was like Oof. we were doing these circular, you know, these spiral things where it just oh, it was crazy. That's why I, I like Oof. to get stuff done. <laughs> Because people got their own lives to lead, and you know Jerry's got Jerry's got his finger on the pulse, and he gets the stuff done. He reports back to us. Then and we kind of do overall. We have a good direction, I think. Uh, and if you mm-hmm. want to keep everything the same, the only thing we got to do is, I guess, if we need a vice chairman, great. If not, then we're fine. I with think everything. we do. I think I like fine. to have a vice chairman in there. I think that's okay. important. Okay. Well, may I, May I ask, what does a vice chairman do? Well, in the absence of the chairman, they are they are the ones tasked to lead meetings or otherwise deal with you know items involving the town. You know, it is a secondary layer of leadership that keeps us uh, afloat. And, and the idea the idea is, in case I get assassinated, then the uh, 
the uh, vice <laughs> By the president. way, you took it straight. The chairman of yeah, the chair will hand travel like and card and done. Well, survival. Well, let I was, me, um, I, right. Sorry, go ahead, Alex. Let, let me, may, may I ask another question here? So, so if, if the idea is at some point in the future to um, open up that door of the new ordinance, um, would it make sense to you guys if I'm not the one who's helping in front of the board at that point? No, I think you can help. You, it's, I think you could totally help. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think that's a. I, I well, I just, I just realized that you know, look, we talked about that video, but it, it I, I feel like I'm a, I don't know if if they've cooled off on me yet, you know. So. Um, oh, I'm sure that they. They harbor no ill will. I've been doing a good question, mm-hmm. Alex, and I know, I know where you're coming from, but I think given the history, I think it makes you uniquely qualified to bring that uh, credibility to the position, frankly. I Frankly, I think you belong I, I, in the position. Not, I'd nominate not, you if it's hey, not out of line. I'm not suggesting so that. So I'd like to start. Just, okay. I understand. I'd like to start by uh, nominating yeah. Stu again for the chairman of this commission. Do I hear a second? Second it. Second yeah, that's right. No, that was Alex. All right. All right. Do you accept said wait, nomination, Mr. Wait, Strozer? Wait. If, if nominated, I will not. What is it? Uh, if nominated, I will not run. If, what did he say? Elected, I shall if, not serve. Yeah, I, I will. <laughs> All right. Awesome. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Mm-hmm. Congratulations, Mr. Chairman. You have been reelected to the post of chairman for the new year of 2021. Thank you very much. So that May means God that bless if we ever meet journey. person again, I will bring pizza. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have no All vice right, chairman. Now we, we gotta, move, now we have moved to the I vice would, chairman position. I will nominate Alex as vice chairman. I will oh, second, second that. that. Yeah. Well, thank you, gentlemen. I, I uh, humbly accept, and, and I think the saying is, if I'm nominated, I will not serve, and if I'm, <laughs> uh, if I'm and I will not serve if elected. <laughs> but, but no, I, I humbly accept. And if accept elected, I'm and, running and away. Something like that. Yeah. All right. All those in all right. favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Congratulations, Mr. Vice Chairman. Excellent. Wow. You have been elected thank to the post much. for 2021. Can we Excellent. nominate um, Mighty Quinn as the secretary until his term, uh, his term ends, or do we just leave him until his term ends? And... I don't see a reason why not. I All right. Then I, I make uh, the nomination. Yeah. All those in favor? Do, we second? do we second before? <laughs> we second. All right. I accept said nomination to the end of my run in July 2021. Very good. All Thank those you. in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? You got me for another seven months, gentlemen. I love it. Okay. Okay. For, now, for anybody who hasn't been in Sid Caesar's writing room, you, you guys are kind of it. <laughs> Sorry, okay. Dad. We're on the commission. Um, <laughs> so does that take care of new business? That's got ready slides. Jerry, do you have slides or no? No, no slides. All right, that takes care of that. That takes care of all the new business. Any public comment? No. Hearing none. Go to the order? Whatever that means, I still don't know what that means. It's always good. (laughs) Yeah. What does that mean? (laughs) All right, before we hang up, I'll make a a notion to adjourn, but thank you, gentlemen. This has been great. Uh, We get through stuff quick, and uh, I will start asking Jennifer about a Zoom call I'd love to be able to get back because we – they keep telling us town hall's closed, but uh, the Mighty Quinn actually put it very, very well, saying there's not enough of us. We can all sit in the four corners of the room, and we're certainly socially distanced. So I'm going to keep pushing oh, yeah. for in-town or in-person meetings, and if not, at the very least, a Zoom. So, Appreciate it. Uh, everybody right, stay. I second your – I second okay. your motion to adjourn and stay warm and safe and dry. Yes, and uh, stay, stay in the house, everybody. Yeah, happy holidays All right. and happy New you Year's. Too. Safe <laughs> and everyone. happy holidays, happy everybody. Holidays. What's that, Jerry? Happy holidays. Yeah, happy, happy holidays, holidays guys. Everybody. See ya. Happy Thanks, holidays, everybody. Right, be Have well. a great night. Bye. See you all. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.